everyone, so I'm here with a really easy and effortless yet very polished makeup look and this can be perfect for work or for an interview or if you work in a corporate environment. And I'm actually collaborating with a fellow Panay here on YouTube. Her name is Say, so I will link her video down below so you can go watch it. I will be using mostly drugstore products and I will list them down below. So let's get started. First things first, we have to prime our eyelids to make our shadows last all day. Next, we're going to be using one of my favorite trios from Wet n Wild. Pick up some of that brow bone shade with the tip of a flat shader brush and then just sweep it across the brow bone. Then to sheer it out, just blend it down with your fingers. You can't really see the writing anymore, but pick up some of that eyelid shade with the same flat brush and apply it across the lids. I'm using a mixture of padding and a little bit of dragging motion just to make sure that it's not so concentrated. I know shimmer is fun, but we're still trying to go for a subtle look. Next, pat that fluffy blending brush on the crease color just once and work it into your crease as your transition color and to just blend out the harsh edges. and saturating our blending brush with it and work this into your outer corners with circular motions. This shadow is really stiff and that's why I saturated my brush with it and it's actually a good thing for beginners because if you accidentally go heavy-handed with it, this shadow is really sheer so it's really easy to work with. So keep working the shadow into your outer corners until you get your desired intensity. Time for some liner! I'm using this brown pencil eyeliner from Milani and I'm going to tight line and apply some on my upper lash line. The reason why I chose a brown liner as opposed to a black liner is that it still defines my eyes but it is a lot more subtle and the Milani Liquify eyeliners are like my holy grail pencil eyeliner from the drugstore. Now define the lower lash line as well by lining it one thirds of the way. Now with a short shader brush, we're going to pick up that crease color again and smudge the lower liner just to soften it a lot more. With the same brush, pat the same shadow on the upper lash line to set the liner. Now curl your lashes and apply your favorite mascara. I forgot but highlight your inner tear ducts with the brow bone shade and the same shader brush from earlier and voila we're finished with the eyes and moving on to the face I'm using my all-time favorite NYC sunny bronzer and just lightly contour my cheekbones my temples my forehead and my jawline with this tapered brush from Sigma. If you've never tried Wet n Wild blushes, then you're missing out. I'm using the blush in Mellow Wine and applying it to the apples of my cheeks and slowly dragging it towards where my contour is to blend it. Can't 
can't you already tell that Wet n Wild is my all-time favorite drugstore brand? <laughs> Pop this shade called Bear It All all over your lips. Let me just say that I love these matte lipsticks from Wet n Wild. To finish off the look, top the lipstick off with some gloss from e.l.f. And this one is called Goddess. Now the look is done, and now let's put on your big girl blazer. So this is the finished look. I hope that you all enjoyed it. And make sure that you wear that makeup look with confidence and don't forget to smile. I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye!